My name is Sue Diven. I am a tattoo artist at East River Tattoo in Greenpoint, and I teach taxidermy classes on the side. I started as a collector. I just loved the having an animal in the room with you it was so dynamic. Anthropomorphic taxidermy is basically taking the animal and giving it human characteristics. Every nursery rhyme it substitutes people for animals, and that's essentially what anthropomorphic taxidermy does, is takes that to a physical level. I learned it in the way that I learned tattooing, which is there really isn't a school for that either. You learn it from another person in an apprenticeship. There are no schools within six hours of here that are under $700, $800. And it seems to me that it should be a little bit of a more accessible thing. There's so many, it's not a hard thing to do, and people just need those steps and those skills, and I like the idea that they could just take it whatever direction they wanted to. So I feel like it should be more accessible to the masses, especially the people who are artists and are respectful of it. I'd rather them learn the right way. I'd rather them learn the safer way, um, not to pick an animal off the street an ethical way to get it from really using resources that are already have already been killed for another purpose and just sort of repurposing them. And I can assure them they're not going to get a disease from it, that it's safe, um, it's clean, it's as sanitary as possible. As aware of that as I am as a tattoo artist and what diseases are transmittable where, um, in terms of killing the animal, I can assure them this animal was killed for food for other animals, and therefore nothing for this class is perpetuating, you know, anything, any deaths. I've had a couple squeamish people. I've had people throw up. I've had people run out of the middle of the class. Uh, I've had people just push their chair back and say they can't do it. And I think that's why it's so, it's so popular to people is that it's not for everybody. So it's almost a test of your willpower, your courage to kind of get through. The feedback I've gotten from the class has been very extreme, either good or bad. Um, people have been very appreciative, saying that they loved that I taught them that, they've always wanted to learn, that they're going to take it to, they're going to practice on their own, they can't wait, they're so excited. It's been years, it's something they've always wanted to do. It's just opened up a whole door for them. And then on the other side, uh, it was the day after the Post article, I had 500 and something emails all saying taxidermy class and it was it's not main the main PETA it's a group uh, from a school up in, in uh, upstate New York affiliated with PETA you know like a subgroup um, and they must have signed an online petition and the 540 emails turned into thousands and most of them were um, generic like a, a template and some of them were just vicious really mean what I hope people will take away from this class is that the idea that they can do it themselves at home cleanly and safely and cheaply for the most part using the same materials that people have used to taxidermy for centuries. I'd love to see at some point a society of taxidermy group in New York City, in Brooklyn or New York City as a whole that really met and were dedicated once these classes are done, you know, uh, they're dedicated to kind of pursuing that art further.